Hey there, one of my students in my online courses at courses.lowellpapworth.com asked me what is going to replace Facebook lists. And Facebook lists, like the Mackay one, is where you have a secret number and all of the news from the people on that list pours through or the businesses on that list um, pours through and nothing else. So you just put the people you want to see on the list and only their news comes through. And on the right hand side you can see we've got libraries and youth centres and festivals and so on and nothing from you know friends and family that sort of thing. So I want to have a Facebook page for farmers markets and growers markets like the Mudgy Farmers Market but I want to put them all on a list. I can't do it with the old list because they've gone. So what I'm going to do is go to Facebook and create a new page. So I go to the main page, I go to the drop down arrow and I click create page. Now it doesn't matter what I fill in here because it's not really a brand page, a business page. I'm not going to promote it. It's just for me to use instead of Facebook page interest lists. So let's quickly create a page. I'm going to do one for my farmers markets. So I might just use food and beverage. I can change these later. Later. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Social media for farmers and growers market. Again, I may promote this page or I may not. But it's primarily for me to know from the news feed what all the, the market stands and the markets are doing. So this is a plain page. I'm not going to bother filling in too much of this one. But on the right hand side, so if I did decide to I could fill in those, but on the right hand side see pages feed and at the moment that feed will be empty. There's no news in there because I haven't added any pages to this page. So I haven't connected any pages I'm interested in. Now the Mudgy Farmers Market page, I don't have anything to do with this page, like I don't manage it or anything. But when I go to more and then I say like as your page, I get to choose the page that I want to have, I guess, a list for. And it's not my personal like, it's not Laurel Papworth liking the page. It's going to be the social media for farmers and growers market page liking the Mudgy Farmers Market. So we click submit on that one. It says it's accepted. And then I go all the way through Facebook and I find all the stands and I find all the other markets I'm interested in. And then I go back to my news feed and it will have refreshed now. And now the news is coming through from any Facebook pages that I've added to this page feed, to this news feed for my social media for farmers and growers markets. It means all I have to do is switch to that page, click on the page feed, Bob's your uncle, you can see all the news just from those business pages. That's my workaround for Facebook removing an incredibly useful tool, which was Facebook interest list for business pages. And Facebook, if you're listening, I'm very grumpy with you. I need those lists for training. But as I can't use them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create dozens of Facebook business pages with the news feeds all set up so I can just click on them and see the news for the different industries and the different topics that I'm interested in. I just want to be clear, you can still do group lists or you can still do friends lists uh, with all your friends. You just It's just the business page list that was taken away from us. See you in my next Facebook course. Yay!